Well, I am Mama Nikichi Taifa, and we are here for the 16-day Babalu IA healing ritual. And I am here with our spiritual leader, Bukhar Ia Marie of Ile Imole. Greetings. Thank you. Hey, Kavo, everyone. This is such an exciting time, Mama Nikichi. Our Babalu IA healing ritual. Yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, Baba Luaye, we're talking about the deity of disease. We got a lot of that going on today. It is the deity of pandemics. It is the a deity of prosperity and community restoration. But it is also the deity of healing. Healing, it's prosperity, awesome. uh, abundance. Baba Luaye is known for community healing. Many of us remember the days of the smallpox and all of that. That's when he really came on the scene in terms of worldwide attention, but he is also in terms of healing the individual, healing the family, because before we even get to the community, we have to begin with self and family, right? So he um, is known for many, many, many ways of healing mentally, physically, spiritually, economically, with your finances, so he brings an opportunity for us to reset ourselves, rejuvenate before we move forward into the next era. And you know, Ian yeah, Marie, that is so very critical. And during these 16 days, December 16th through December the 31st, we're going to be focusing on different aspects different of aspects. these healings. So can you just share just a little bit, just yes. a, a little flavor yes. of what these 16 days are? Absolutely, going to be? absolutely. Well, the theme for this year's healing service is healing with the 16 Odus. So we're bringing in the Odu Ifa, and we're looking at the Odu, the major Odu from, um, from Oak Bay to Ofun, and each day we will focus on one of the major Odus. And not only that, we have um, Babalaos and Ieni Ifas from Nigeria, from throughout the U.S. who will be chanting these essays for us and who will be offering blessings for our community as well as the individual. So we're going to focus on healing in so many different ways that we're going to just have everything infused with healing, 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 because as you said, um, there's a lot going on today and we need the healing. So we definitely need yeah. the healing. And I know we have a number of different uh, implements and things yes. here that will help during these 16 days. Can you share some of the sacredness of what we have? Absolutely, here? absolutely. Well, uh, what you see here are many of the um, uh, items that are significant to Baba Luaye. So we have Baba Luaye here, and uh, you often see Baba Luaye. Uh, in the vessel of the clay pot, and it's usually spotted like this, or it has cowrie shells on it. And you see, we have cowrie shells here at the bottom. I love those cowrie shells. Yes, we have the chain there, and of course, a lot of us know him from the coquille broom, the uh, these palm fawn brooms that we see all over here. And uh, we have uh, Orisha J, who is here, and he's also associated with. Orisha J, as he's associated with his brother Shongo and Chapana and all the different uh, Ogun, because he went through um, went through Yoruba land, learning from all the other entities in terms of healing. That's why he is so encapsulating in his healing abilities. So behind you, they may not see it, but we have beans, various beans behind there. We have or, um, his arrow, his medicine. Arrow is the antidote for the illness. He also likes cornmeal. So we have that there. We have some osun. We have OB. We have so many things here. And, and of course, before we even start, we do an egg cleansing because we believe that the egg represents rebirth, rejuvenation, prosperity, and it also has the ability to absorb the negativity, to absorb the things that we're suffering from. So that's very briefly, some of the things that we have back here. So, Ile Imale is going to be explaining all these things for the community to come together for the personal healing, for the family healing, for the community healing, for the nation uh, healing. Tell us just a little bit about just what who Ile 
Imole is all right. About. Well, Ime, Ime Imole um, is an organization. We are, of course, 501c3 organization. Uh, we are a spiritual organization. And by the way, Ile Imole means house or temple or place of light. So we believe that wherever we go, we will bring light. We actually came out of a, uh, originated from um, another organization, um, not originated, but we, many of us came out from a different organization, and uh, we have been functioning independently for the last two and a half, two plus years. So many of us, like myself, like you, we have over 25, 30 years of experience in African spirituality. It's just that we were called together to um, build and create Ile Imole, which is um, our main mission is to bridge gaps, to create bridges across uh, communities and across the waters, and to really provide a place for healing, for the advancement and enhancement of the individual. Well, Bukaya Marie, I'm so very excited. I mean, yes, these 16 yes. days, I mean, yes. I just can't uh, wait. And um, I'm glad that Ile Imole is presenting this for the benefit yes. of the community once again. And we want to invite each and every one of you. You will have a package. We want this uh, this year to be, it's a little different from last year. It's going to be a little bit self-generated. So you are able to um, engage in your ritual within your family at a more convenient time for you. But we will also have times where we will get together uh, collectively and do rituals. So yes, so I'm excited and we want everyone to, to join us. Please go to www.ileimole.com for more information on how you can engage in this annual ritual. Absolutely. Disease and disasters come and go like the rain, but health is like the sun that illuminates the entire village. I know that we're in a virtual world right now. However, I want you to connect with me right now by raising your hands and snapping your fingers three times if you want to be like the sun and illuminate your home, your town or village, and even the entire world. Thank you for that. Today, I will be sharing a bit about an Orisha called Babaluaye. I will talk about who he is, what he did that changed the entire course of humanity, and what you can do to benefit from his healing powers. But first, Help me with some virtual energy and connect this taped presentation with the live stream that we will experience together. Use the button to raise your hand or send a thumbs up if you've heard of Baba Luaye. Give me another thumbs up if you have experienced his healing powers. Wait, I think I saw some virtual hands go up. Babaluaye is an Orisha within Ifa Orisha religion. Ifa Orisha religion, as well as other African religions, are not complicated, though they may be complex. Most are based on oral traditions. There are three main concepts that I would like to share about African religions. Number one, a belief in a supreme being. Number two, a belief in divinities who receive authority from the supreme being and spirits such as ancestors. And number three, our relationship with the supreme being and the divinities. This includes our practice, worship, rites and rituals, 
as well as how we experience everyday life. And Orisha is a divinity within Ifa Orisha religion that's practiced amongst the Yoruba people of Nigeria, the Fon people of Benin and Togo, the Ave people of Ghana, and other parts of Africa, as well as throughout the Caribbean and the Americas and other places. So keep that in consideration as we briefly talk about the numbers of adherents in some religions. In Hinduism, there are approximately 1.2 billion adherents. Christianity has approximately 2.4 billion. In Sub-Sahara Africa, statistics show adherents to number over 100 million. However, Ifa, Orisha religion, is not only practiced in Africa. It has many denominations and is practiced all over the world in many different traditions. Therefore, I believe those numbers to be much higher. In fact, Dr. Kola Abimbola states that the number of adherents is closer to over 500 million. Why Babaluae at this time? Why should we turn to him for healing? How can he assist us in healing humanity? Let me tell you a bit more about Babaluae. He is the Orisha of disease, healing, and prosperity. He became widely known for healing during the 19th century smallpox pandemic. The CDC, Center of D Disease Control, and the World Health Organization acquired over 50 artifacts of Babaluaye and other healers. Babaluaye means Lord, Monarch, Father of the World. They are commonly referred to as healers. Part of the African tradition is teaching by telling stories. Let me tell you a story about Babaluaye. He was born into a very powerful family, a mother, a father, and siblings. And you know how it is when one is born. They always check to see if the baby has all their fingers and toes. Babaluaye was different. He had physical disabilities. However, he did possess special powers. But he was teased, ridiculed, ignored, and neglected because of his outward appearances. He was judged and treated unfairly. Anger grew and set in in his heart. It grew and grew and grew until one day he became so angry that he could not handle himself or his special powers. He began to fight with others. He fought with Obona, measles and pox and wounds that appear all over the body. He used his powers to cause immune system overreaction. This caused organs to weaken and inflame and many died. The elders eventually banished him because of his destructive behavior. He fled to the forest where he existed for some time. I was a member of the Yoruba Temple of Spiritual Elevation and Enlightenment. We used to sing this song and it goes like this. Ero, ero, ero ko babalu aye. Ero, ero, ero ko babalu aye. Ero, ero, ero ko babalu aye. We sang that song during his festival time when we were actually doing the grain cleaning. Baba Luaye was exiled into the forest, but there he met the beautiful Orisha Ajay, and she taught him 
that things that appear to be waste could have much value. He worked with Chapona, who taught him about the multiple uses of the healing powers of the palm tree. He learned about fibrous food that could sweep the intestinal tract clean, and so did the inner and center part of the palm frond. It can be used to clean the energy of the outer body as well as the house. Babaluaye encountered some of the other Orisha during his time away. He returned to society and what he saw was turmoil. Disaster and destruction was everywhere, even more than before he left. The impression of pain and suffering was felt by all. Having resolved his differences with his brothers, Bayani and Shongo, as well as other members of his family, Babaluaye began to set up his shrine office and committed his life to treating and healing humanity, treating psychological, physical, and spiritual areas. Some who knew him from before were initially wary, but soon his reputation grew. Some rejected him even more than before because they were benefiting from the degradation of society. They set about spreading horrible rumors about Babaluaye, those he had to fight. Eventually, his practice grew and he trained up others to assist with the work of healing humanity. Images of Babaluaye may show him with spots all over his body, with one leg, one arm being maimed. His vessels typically look like a clay pot with spots all over it or holes in it. Some of his implements that's, that's sacred to him include the broom, chains, and um, other metal objects such as guns, cowrie shells, and camwood red dye. His special foods include palm wine, palm oil, and other palm tree products. Cornmeal, beans, bitter leaves, and other special food items that's given to him at special times. Do not eat salt and pepper while working with the energy of Babaluaye. Do not scrape or scratch metal objects when working with him. It's best to wait until after the sun has gone down before working with his energy. During cleaning rituals, or if someone is healing within the home, it's best to allow the healing period to end before removing and cleaning up items. His medicine, a rote, is Abba. Abba is a special mixture that you can use to rub on your skin. Healing is our birthright. Healing is our birthright. And this story tells us about how one can come to healing. Baba Luaye is the solution for humanity. He saves lives. He's a nurturer, a healer, a protector of the downtrodden. As a balancer of society, he teaches us to embrace universal principles and healing practices that demonstrate the power of love, compassion, and forgiveness in our daily lives. He brings longevity, prosperity, children, good balanced relationships, good health, victory over our adversaries and success in all that we put our hands to do. Things that he teaches us not to do, do not ignore or neglect others. Don't allow your anger to consume you. It will eventually erupt out of you. Don't degrade others. 
A Yoruba proverb states, a man with a cough cannot conceal himself. Our broken society can no longer conceal itself from the destruction that is occurring right now. It's time for all of us to engage in healing. May Baba Luaye be an everlasting blessing to you and your family. My name is Bakor Iyamari. I am the founder and spiritual leader of Ile Imole. I would like to chant Ejokbe. O Tagba Ariagba. Okay, Seri Biti, Sori Shon Shon. Adifa Fun Oru Mila. Ifa Sharoro De La. O Ba Moro. Ade eke lomo ifa, eri lomo ni, oru mila, ela isote. Ifa jerry Mary deli ko, ko, ko. Thunderstones are powerful. Arira, the powerful one. The hill is mighty at the base, but has a pointed summit. Ifa divination was performed for Ru Mila when Ifa was going to practice divination at Ila Obamoro. Adeyeke is the child of Ifa. Ere is the child of Oni. Oru Mila, the Ella of Iso De. Ifa, let me return home unfailingly with all of my gains. Ashe Ati Ireo. E Cabo, Aquaba, Hotep, greetings, welcome. I am Ia Oloshunde and I am a member of Ile Imole. Today I will be giving you commentary on the Odu Eji Obe. What we heard from Bakor Ia Marie in this Odu was to talk about the powerfulness of thunderstorms. And I think about nature and the power of nature and how it should be regarded as not just taken lightly, but taken seriously. And then there was a the mention of the mountains, which have a strong foundation and a summit, a peak. So I think about the fact that we need to have a strong foundation in our values and that our bodies are kind of like that mountain that comes to a peak at the head. We want to make sure that our head is on straight all the time and that we're doing our best, that we're giving it our all each and every moment that we can. What reminds me of is when my children were studying martial arts and part of their pledge each time was they said, I do my best at all times. And they had to repeat that. I do my best at all times. I'm a winner, I'm a champion, I'm a champion, I'm a winner. But that was uh, one of the things that I, I took away, that we definitely want to make sure that we are putting in our best at all times. And during this season of healing, I want you to go within and have the best thoughts possible, all the love that you can share upon yourself and let it radiate from within to your family and loved ones. Blessings to all. Ashe.
So greetings. We are now at this very special part of our service where we engage in some reciprocity. Reciprocity is part of our 16-day Baba Luaye healing ritual. We're at the point in which we give back. We're at the point in which we experience reciprocity, the point in which we give as we receive. We want to help the blessings flow, flow like the waters. Yes, indeed, as part of this uh, service, you know, we want you to just participate in this giving, in this receiving. And we use the carry, we use the carry shells to help to facilitate our ritual of giving. And so we talk about the perennial giving and receiving that represents the interconnectedness of the universe. We want to help Ile Imole grow its services and its offerings, its ceremonies and its festivals, its retreats and its rites of passage and all of the above. The first Sunday service, yes, indeed. The Baba Luaye healing ritual, the Black History event, our morning ground ritual, our Orisha feast, our back to school ritual, our water ritual, our elders' ancestral events, our soulful empowerment. All of these are annual events and back to right here, right now today, our Baba Lu IA 16-day healing ritual. Let there flow peace, power, love, and prosperity. Let there flow peace, power, love, and the prosperity. Let the blessings of Oshun wash down upon us, empowering us with prosperity, empowering us with power and prospering us with perfection. Praise God. Praise God. Ola Dumare, from whom all blessings flow. Pull out that cash app, or we'll call it our carry app, and it's going to be dollar sign, Ile Imole, dollar sign, A-I-L-E-I-M-O-L-E. -E. PayPal, info at ileimole.com. And you can do your snail mail. By check, Ile Imole, P.O. Box 610, Temple Hills, Maryland, 20757. Yes, indeed. Give so that you may receive. So now that we've had the opportunity to give our dollar sign, Ile Imole, for cash out, our PayPal, info at ileimole.com, or our snail mail at checks. We want to uh, thank the mother, father, God, the ancestors, the deities, and the saints. We want to please, please, please accept these offerings, these heartfelt offerings on this day in your name from your devotees. And as we give our gifts freely with joy, we receive these blessings gladly with gratitude. And for those who are physically unable to give, please know that we are forever in the spiritual love. There's so many causes in society today, so much, so much. We know that the energy from our collective giving sparks the energy, energy such that as we contribute to one, we are ultimately contributing to all. Mother, Father, God, may you accept these gifts, these abundant gifts and blessings and continue to flow and rain down blessings upon us, bringing to all good fortune, abundance, good health, prosperity, and peace. Thank you for accepting our offer. Ashe. Baba, Baba.